So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and as promised, I'm out here with John, the hometown historian. I think I mentioned my previous video, my mail time video, looking for a place to do some magnet fishing. I know last summer I got a kit to do some magnet fishing. I think I went once late last summer, and I think we used it to drop it down a well a little bit earlier this spring, but I'm out here with John. So one of the things that I could do with him, since I, I think a lot of you know he had more surgeries on his feet, so we, we can, this is something we can do. We're here in Anvil, the Quitting Nature Park. There's some cool remains of a mill down here, so we're just gonna start here, just some magnet fishing. I don't know what all we're gonna do, and we'll find some other spots. Um, we'll see. We'll do this until someone tells us we can't do it here, I guess. So, but yeah, remember you can check out his channel, the Hometown Historian, if you want to. <laughs> Got cool stuff. Okay, so down there in the creek are the remains of the mill. You can see some foundations. It's like a circular thing there. So we're gonna, we might do some magnet fishing from the bridge. We might go, we'll see what happens. If so we don't get anything here, maybe we'll just go up further the stream or go somewhere else. All right, so John's gonna give it a shot first. We'll see what happens. Fire up the <laughs> we don't really know if there's anything in this area or not, but there's an old mill here, so maybe. Oh, his first. I don't wanna lose the rope either. Dragging it along the bottom of it. Well, I found some garbage. A bunch of rusted chunks of stuff. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what that is. Wire or something? Yeah. It's magnetic. Another sun comes out, yeah, a whole bunch of it. All right, nothing exciting yet. We might go down to that deeper spot out there a little bit. All right, so we were up there on the bridge. We're moving down here. We weren't really finding anything down that area, but I'm not sure what that is right there. You, you have any idea what that is? What? You have any idea what that is right there? Uh, but it's like a circular thing. See it? Right, but we're gonna we're gonna metal detect in here a little bit. It's a little bit deeper in there. I'm not metal detect, but magnet fishing. This thing right here. I don't know. It looks like it's rounded. I know, so I say it looks man-made. I'm not sure. I was wondering yeah, yeah. if that has something to do with the mill or not. Might be. Dude, weird would that possibly be part of a wheel or I don't know. But we'll see. It's a little bit deeper out there, so. Maybe some things are settled in that area. We'll see. We're not having any luck up on the bridge. Yeah, so here's a look at this from the other side. It's not it's not round on this side, so I don't know. Probably had something to do with the old mill. But I don't see anything on the other side. Anyway, so maybe but maybe it's a good sign. Maybe there'll be some goodies out in the water here. Watch John hobble there. He's lost, John lost a couple more toes since I filmed with him last time from his surgeries, but he's doing okay. So John's gonna give it a try again. I didn't get anything, just more of that like magnetic mud. But uh, you rarely ever get anything on your first throw out there, magnet fishing. 
Watch John get some. Oh, hey, where's that thing you found earlier? It's in your pocket. He did find something non-magnetic. Whatever that. It's frogmatic. Looks oh, like a frog. Okay. I think it's a frog. Okay. He's happy, and he's been tortured by the <laughs> Taliban. Okay. And it's marks all over him. Be a chest full of gold coins. Or it'll be nothing. <laughs> a failure. I'll throw it out a lot deeper this time. There we go. I mean, it's a lot like regular fishing. You don't catch things right away. Or ever, sometimes. <laughs> so we're gonna abandon that effort there at that location. Just getting like a lot of uh, like magnetic mud on the magnet. But anyway, so we're just gonna maybe check out the mill site here a little bit. Who knows what we're gonna do? We might walk down the creek a little bit. See if we can find any other interesting spots to try to throw the magnet in. Here's a sign for the mill. Yeah, here's a sign for it. Bachman's Mill, built in 1831, destroyed in 1911. So that was just down, up there is the bridge where we were earlier, and just down there was where the ruins were. You can see from the bridge. And just to test to see if this thing is actually magnetic. Yes, it is, and it's like, it's quite a pull it off. So, it works. Yeah, you might hear some music. There's a Obviously, apparently there's a high school back there somewhere, yeah. like a marching band is practicing, so that's what you're hearing. Sounds like they're having some kind of like Halloween type thing. Someone got the magnet stuck down the rocks. Someone named Cliff? No, I th oh, yeah, it was no, me. I, so, yeah, it was you. So I'm gonna... I did it earlier. I gotta go in and get it. But I brought my waders just because I knew we were probably gonna get stuck. We did get stuck over the bridge, but we were able to get it out. It's just the way it is sometimes. It's part of magnet fishing. Just like your regular fishing, your hook gets stuck places. Same with magnet fishing, if your magnet gets stuck. All right, we'll get it out though. That's pretty steep. Wow, that is, that's deeper than I... Yeah, it's deeper than I expected. Well, oh, it comes right out. Ha ha ha! All that work for nothing. Now I gotta get out of here. And now we get to see if we don't get out Is that a crocodile behind you, Cliff? Oh, yeah. Oh! All right, so we didn't really catch anything magnet, fitchy, magnet fishing, but we're gonna go, I think we're gonna get something to eat. We're gonna go do a, a Chinese buffet or something. I'll actually film a little bit of that. I know I never really filmed much in a restaurant, but since it's kind of hanging out with the hometown, hometown historian day, I think he's back there yet. There he is. I think we'll, uh, yeah, because when, back, back when I used to work with him, like, I don't know if you remember that, like, we'd go up to New York, State. That was a couple of years ago. Back in what was that? 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Back in 2019. And then for lunch, you know, we'd stop at like the Chinese buffet and stuff. But uh, kind of miss that. So we're gonna kind of relive that today a little bit. Maybe I'll show you what we're eating. Keep this adventure going a little bit. <laughs> Some Chinese is consumed. I think we'll stop in and visit my sister at her antique shop. We're headed somewhere else, we'll stop here first. Sneak in on her. Oh, where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi. <laughs> 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 welcome everybody. <laughs> what are we doing here today? 
We're wandering about. <laughs> She's loaded with everything in here. All kinds of stuff. So come check her out here in Anvil. So how are you doing, John? Yeah, her store is right here on Main Street in Anvil, here in Lebanon County. Got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, like I said, outside, we're headed to, we're gonna just wander about a little bit, go to, I think, to a place called Union Waterworks and check, see if we can find some locks for the Union Canal, kind of check some things out that way, because I'll be filming down that way soon. My sister's shop is on the way, so, yeah, just all kinds of stuff. All right. Yes, I forgot to mention that my, my sister's shop there in Anvil is called Butcher Block Antiques. I put the name down there. So, like I said, you can go down, get Anvil near, you can check out her shop. Lots of stuff. All right, but John's, still, John's back in Naomi back there. But we're north of Anvil now and uh, just kind of driving around, checking some things out, doing a little uh, reconnaissance for my Union Canal series because, and right up ahead here is one of the canals we're coming to. At some point, I don't think I have permission for this property, but you can see the the one canal lock right here from the bridge. Yes, yeah, so right here is the Union Canal, or the remnants of it, and just back in there, if you see some of the stonework, is one of the locks. I forget which one offhand it is, which number, but uh, just up that way, because just up that way is the dump the, with the, the Greater Lebanon Refuse Authority. Up there, you can see that's the landfill up there. I know there's some, there's three more locks out that way that are owned by the landfill company that we can get to at some point. But yeah, right there's some stone work for the Union Canal. Well, like I said, I don't remember which lock number this is offhand. I didn't know it was gonna be out here today. But I think we're gonna head that way and see if we can find some of the other ones that are on the land that belongs to the dump. It's the GLRA, I think they refer. The Greater Lebanon Refuse Authority. All right, yes, yeah, so we're just kind of driving around checking things out here today. I actually haven't spent a lot of time with John recently, so it's good to just hang out with him a bit today. All right, we'll keep this adventure going for a little bit more. All right, so we're still driving around, and we just found another lock. I recognize the name of this road. This is Emma Road, for my research, and boom. All right, there's another lock from the Union Canal. Once again, I, I forget offhand which number this is, but right there it is, off of the road. That's cool. That one looks like in great shape. Cool. Just walk up here a little bit, get in there, look at it. Yeah. Right here's the Union Canal. Right there's the lock. Awesome. Let me zoom in once again. Cool. All right. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to be out looking for Union Canal locks today, but we'll take it. Just a little bit of reconnaissance. But we're gonna go ahead and keep on driving around just a little bit, see what else we can find. Might as well, it's a beautiful day. All right, so that's going to be it. I'm just dropping John off. Where is he? There he is. Everybody say bye. Anyway, so it was fun hanging out with John today. Well, was it fun? Well. <laughs> for some people. For some people. But yeah, like I said... Me. Nobody actually involved. <laughs> yeah, magnet fishing wasn't so much of a success, but it was still, still had fun it was doing still, it. It was fun. It was a new experience. Chinese is working its way yeah. both ends on me, so... It was terrifying. Yeah, where is he? There he is. And then, because uh, then un unexpectedly, we went look for some Union Canal locks. That was pretty cool. Just to drive around and find some of those. So, uh, as always, thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.